Let's take our next question. That is question number 16. Now, as per this question, you see this belongs to chapter gravitation. A body weighs 200 Newton on the surface of Earth. How much will it weigh halfway down to the center of Earth? So, let's start with the solution. Now, as per the question, if you observe, you will get x would be equal to r by 2, where x is the distance of the body from the center when it has moved to halfway down, right? So, g dash at this position will be g m x upon r cube, right? So, if you put down the value of x, you will get the answer of g dash and g at the surface of earth would be g m by r square. If you talk about the weight of the body, we have to just multiply the weight that is mass of the body here and here and here, right? Now, these are the two equations. This is first and this is the second equation. Let's take the ratio of 2. Taking the ratios of 1 is to 2, you will get weight of the body at the new point divided by weight of the body at the surface will be x upon r. That would be 1 is to 2. So, w dash will be equals to w by 2, which is equals to 100 Newton. Let's see which is the best suited option. So, among the four options given to us, option number four is the right answer to this question. Now, let's move on to our next question. That is question number 17. Now, the question you see belongs to chapter of current electricity. As per the question, there are six similar bulbs which are connected as shown in the figure with a DC source of EMF E and zero internal resistance. The ratio of power consumption by the bulbs when all are glowing, that means all bulbs are active. Second case, in the situation when two from section A and one from section B are glowing. In that case, only two. So, let's see this in the diagram. In the first scenario, all the bulbs are active, right? So, in the first scenario, what would be the net resistance of this circuit? So, let's take it as case one. Here, if you see, all are same. So, all will be having same resistance. In this combination, these three are parallel, these three are parallel. So, this is R by 3, R by 3 and they are in series. That means the net resistance R1 here would be 2 R by 3. That would be the first case. What is the power emitted here? So, it would be E square by R1, right? Now, for the second case, when only two are active in section A, that means this becomes inactive and one is active in section B, that is these become inactive. Now, in this case, let's take it as case 2, right? Now, in this case, what will be the net resistance now? So, only two are left, so R by 2 and this is R, so that is R by 2 plus R, that would be equal to 3 R by 2. In this case, what would be the power? It is E square upon R2. Now, we have both the powers P1 and P2 and the ratio required is power consumption by the bulbs when all are active, that is P1, 2. In the case when 2 from section A and 1 from section B is glowing, that is P2. So, if you mark the solution here, you will get what question is asking is the ratio of P1 is to P2 and this will be equal to R2 by R1. This is equals to 3 R by 2 and this is equals to 2 R by 3. Solving this, you will get 9 by 4. Let's see which is the best suited option. Among the four, option number 2 is the right answer to this question. Right? Now, let's move on to our next question. That is question number 18. Now, the question you see belongs to section of semiconductors. It's a pretty easy question. For a p-type semiconductor, which of the following statements is true? Number one, electrons are the majority carriers and trivalent atoms are the dopants. In p-type, electrons are not the majority carriers. This is wrong. Second statement, holes are the majority carriers and trivalent atoms are the dopants. Yes, it is correct. So, certainly the next two will be wrong. Let's see. Holes are the majority carriers and pentavalent atoms are dopants. Again, it is wrong. And electrons are the majority. No, it is also wrong. So, answer to this question would be option number two. Hope you have understood the question very well. Now, let's move on to our next question.